Hi there. The other week when I was parting um, a piece of metal on the mini lathe, um, I had a sort of a not very pleasant experience. The parting tool um, sort of got underneath the piece I was trying to part off. It was towards the end of the cut and having sort of investigated on the internet I think one of the problems is um, the um, amount of give you might have in the various uh, components. So for example um, this mini lathe doesn't have the ability uh, as it comes to be able to lock the compound slide or the cross slide or the carriage. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go at making a carriage lock. Um, once I've done that I'll have a go at making uh, modifications to the lathe for the cross slide and the compound slide. So in this video I'll try and make the carriage lock and uh, it's based upon a design um, that somebody called uh, Hooper, Hooper Dim. Uh, he, he's got a channel, I think it's a he, uh, on the internet, uh, on YouTube and he covers the making of this. Now it's done in three phases or three steps. Uh, first of all you make the clamp um, then you make a little uh, pin and the uh, sort of final piece and the more difficult piece is the beam. Um, so what I'm going to have a go at doing now is making the clamp. Now we're trying to do that on my new mini mill. So for the clamp you, you need a piece of mild steel. Uh, 40 millimeters long by 20.8 millimeters wide by 18 millimeters wide. Now I've not got a piece like that. This piece is 40 millimeters long, which is okay, but it's 19 millimeters by 19 millimeters. So I, I can live with that. I'll just have to adjust sort of the dimensions as we go along. So um, what I need to do is to take uh, one millimeter of this face here. So I've put some parallels in here, just to uh, keep the piece above the top of the jaws of the vise, and uh, we'll give it a try. Okay, so I've uh, zeroed the tool on the top of the piece. I shall unlock the head, and using the fine feed, I'll go in by 10 graduations which is about a quarter of a millimetre. And now I'll lock the head again. So I'll unlock the head again, move the head down again with the micro adjustment, another 10 graduations, then do another cut. So I shall repeat this two more times and hopefully we'll have achieved the one millimetre that we want.
just short of 18 so that's fine okay so now I need to uh, cut a channel here um, 8.2 millimeters wide by 9.2 meters down uh, this is a 9 millimeter bit um, so I'm going to do a trial cut I've locked the X axis and uh, zero the tool so I'm just going to do a trial cut uh, of 10 thou just move the fine feed down 10 thou and see what that looks like <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we shall just continue cutting downwards now. making a cut on the other side now Now just tap in the thread. And to test it. Perfect. So just drilling the pilot hole. Okay, so now we need to drill the 4mm hole um, 10 millimeters deep. Okay, so this is a piece of quarter inch mild steel and it needs to be turned down um, to four millimeters for the pin. Ten power to time.
Okay, so this is the uh, piece for uh, the beam, and it was originally 19 millimeters by 19 millimeters, and um, it needs to be 18 millimeters by 14.5 millimeters. So um, I've taken one millimeter off this face here um, using the um, end of the mill, uh, the, the milling cutter. Um, and I took a thou off at a time to get down to one millimetre, sort of just cutting in that direction. Took a long, long time. So, um, to reduce this side by four and a half millimetres, I've decided to do some, I think they call it side milling, and um, the direction of the cut will be um, that direction against the direction of the uh, milling cutter um, so that should avoid climb milling I think that's the term um, and I'll be taking off tenth hour to time um, so I've already started this process and I've probably got about a millimetre done so far uh, but it will take a long long time once I've got it um, down to fourteen and a half on this side here I'll turn it round and then do the lower bit. So anyway, let's uh, let's continue. Okay, so I've uh, milled that down to 14 and a half millimetres. So I need, I now need to take this edge off here. So I'll do that by uh, just placing it in the vise like that and doing uh, a cut along the side again, similar to what I did previously. Well, that took an absolute age getting the basic dimensions, uh, but I got there in the end. If if anybody's any suggestions in terms of uh, how how I should have done it properly <laughs> um, just drop me a message I'd appreciate that so now I'm going to um, drill four holes to a depth of 11.8 uh, millimeters so that will define the depth I'm going to mill down to Okay, so I've uh, managed to mill this section out, so that's complete. I used uh, a 9mm uh, 4 flue end mill uh, running just um, over, a, I think, about 1000 RPM. Um, I've not got a digital readout, but I'm guessing from uh, the uh, where, where the position of the dial is. Um, on this side, I've decided to use a, um, an 11mm uh, cutter. And uh, that's a four flute end mill as well, and I'll be running that just uh, less than a thousand RPM. So we'll uh, see how we get on. I'm only cutting in increments of ten thou.
So I'm just going to tidy up the corners inside here. Not that they can be seen, but it uh, be nice to make a decent job. That's a 6mm uh, 4 flu end mill. So now I'm drilling the holes and uh, just using a centre drill first of all. So now I need to cut this little section out here and uh, I've marked it up so I'll uh, just use the uh, hacksaw to uh, cut that out and use a file to clean it up well that's the first time I've ever used a milling machine and I must say uh, the whole project was very very satisfying um, first of all many thanks to um, Hubert Dim uh, for the plans unfortunately um, I don't know uh, Hubert's, Hubert Dim's uh, proper name but I'll uh, put a link to his or her YouTube channel in my description so brilliant plans um, so what have I learned um, I suppose first of all um, when I made the clamp um, I did notice the cutter go off, off offline a little bit and then I realized the importance of making sure that your works really clamped down um, and to actually keep on checking that it is, uh, you know, all nice and tight. Um, secondly, I also found the the angles um, on the on the clamp um, weren't spot on, um, and then I soon realised that the mill wasn't properly trammed. So um, I did the tramming uh, exercise, and that was very very successful. And I've done a separate video on that, uh, which you might find useful. Um, thirdly, um, I learned a bit about cutting speeds. So apparently, um, for uh, mild steel, the cutting speed should be 100 foot per minute. Um, and there's a really easy calculation for working out the RPM. So you take your 100 and multiply it by 100, then you divide it by the diameter of the cutter um, in millimetres. So for example, if, it's a, if the cutter's 10 millimetres in diameter, it's 100 times 100 divided by 10, which gives you um, 1000 RPM. Now, on here, I've not got any RPM um, readout, but you can roughly work it out with this dial. Um, so, so that was really, really useful. Um, the other thing I found that, uh, oh, the locking screw uh, for the Y axis is right underneath here. Really difficult to access. So I need to find a solution for that long term. Um, I also found it uh, quite difficult uh, gauging the depth of cut uh, using the Z axis. So uh, pretty soon I'm going to be uh, fitting um, a DRO on the side uh, and also this tension spring here I know comes in for a lot of criticism and um, I didn't think it was as bad as I thought it might be uh, but I'll also be replacing that with a gas strut soon and I'll probably do that at the same time that I fit the DRO. Um, and finally I found it really difficult um, making the holes for the pin so you make a hole in the um, clamp and you also have to make a, another hole uh, in the beam and trying to get those holes to be properly aligned I found quite difficult and I had a couple of goes at it and what I ended up doing was um, putting the two pieces together and then drilling a little pilot hole through. 
uh, both pieces. So having done that I could then accurately drill um, the hole the holes for the pin and they, they, they line, it lines up spot on. So I'm, I'm highly delighted with the piece um, and you know it's, it's, it's just brilliant. Um, it, fit, it will fit well onto the lathe and uh, I'll do a separate video of fitting it um, but I hope you like the result. I'm, I'm ever so pleased with it.